I thought we played really well for the most part last weekend. You know, it's a shame that we that we let the Duke match slip away from us, uh, up two one, and we, and we had our chances in game four, and we just didn't put it away. But the positive thing is Duke is is really owned Florida State for the last 25 matches. So for that, for us to play them that well and be in a position to win, I think that speaks volume about how hard the team is working right now, and that we are getting better, that there is improvement being made. And that's, that's very encouraging to us. You know, going back on the road, uh, it's always difficult in the ACC. It's difficult in any conference. But we feel confident that the team is playing well. Their, their confidence level is going up. And so we're, we're excited about going out and just playing again, trying to, to get away from the loss that we had and try to go back out and get a couple wins. You seem this year, it seems like you have some of the best outside hitters and some of the best blockers in the middle in the in the whole league and Barry and Neville and Richardson and all those girls. Tell us about the just the how they performed the past few weeks and just their kind of game, how they step it up to a new level. You know, individually we've got some talent that has really come along this this fall and they're making some real good strides. I think the biggest thing is we're not completely in sync as a team. And so you'll see individual performances raise up, but as a team we're still letting some things slip by. Part of that is is just learning the system, being able to be comfortable with your offense, your defense, and learning how to play uh, with each other. And that still is not there yet completely. But individually, we're having enough production that that's allowing us to win some matches. And as they get better as a team, then you're going to see the, the program continue to rise. This weekend, you're, up, you're going up to uh, Boston for the first time in a while to play Boston College in Maryland. But it seems like the ACC is just a, a weird conference. It seems every single week another team's got an opportunity to really take that first place or second place lead. What's it going to take for your girls the rest of the season to really get up to there to compete for an ACC championship? You know, I feel like right now we've just got to really focus on our side of the net. It's not so much about what other teams are doing against us as it is some of the things we do to shoot ourselves in the foot. At the same time, this is a league that is very deep. There's nine teams that legitimately, in the next four weeks, any of them could come out and win if they get on a hot streak. So we, we realize that, and we know that we've got to do our job. We've got to be able to go on the road and win. We've got to be able to close out these five-game matches. At the same time, it is encouraging to see us in the middle of a race and realize that we're one of the teams that is in the thick of things and know that this is still a program we're trying to build one step at a time. And so I feel like the players understand that. With only one senior, you've got a lot of players that realize that this is kind of a work in progress, and, and they're working hard to get better. It seems like next weekend when you have Georgia Tech and Clemson come into town, that seems like the really defining moment for the end of your season. Those are two games you guys really need. When you know We have asked you this before when fans come out. you know How do you want them to support your team, and what kind of you know excitement do you want them to have when they come in and see you guys play? Well, those are two of the best teams in the conference. And they have been for several years. I think certainly having the crowd, having the support, uh, a little intimidation factor always helps a home team. So we're hoping that the fans will choose to, to come out and support us. Uh, it's going to be great matches either way. We have played, even in the matches we've lost this year, we've played very competitively, particularly at home. And so we expect, we expect to play well. Uh, it's going to be tough teams to beat, and they've got a lot on the line. Both of them are still fighting for the ACC title and are in a little better shape than we are right now because they're, they're closer to the top. But at the same time, we want to be a little bit of a home wrecker right now. You know, we want to be able to bring teams in and, and have a chance to, to knock them off. And if we don't win the ACC this year, at the very least, we want this conference to know we're here and that we've arrived and that we're, we're here to do some good things. Finally, with your first season, it seems like it's hard to believe coming to a close with just a few more weeks, a month or a month and a half left in the season. How has your experience at Florida State been here so far? And, and what's the transition been like from Arkansas? And how is it just to live in Tallahassee now? You know, it's been tremendous. It's, it's, it's beautiful down here. The, the weather is beautiful. And so that's, that's been really nice. The girls have worked so hard. They are so hungry to, to be a great team. The support here by the administration and the community has been outstanding so far. And we feel like that we're, we're going to put a good product out there for them. And, and even in the future, we're hoping people in Tallahassee and, and on this university campus will get more and more excited about volleyball and, and be able to see that this is going to be a team that, that is going Going to be great. It's going to take a little bit of time, but that we're headed in the right direction. And that, that excites me to see that, that so many people have been that supportive.